This video will cover EndNote 20 Site While You Write tool featured in Microsoft Word. EndNote 20 Site While You Write will only work with Microsoft Word, so it will not work with other word processors. To start things off, make sure your EndNote 20 tab is visible at the top of your Microsoft Word window. If it is not visible, please refer to our EndNote FAQ. The link for it is featured in the description below. When you click on the EndNote 20 tab, it will start you off by default in annotated. You can change that later on and whatever changes you make to it will stay until you change them after the fact. From here, you can start working on your document as if you were writing a paper or while you're working on your research. As you're using this tool, please make sure that you have references in your EndNote library so that you can add them to your document. If you need any help adding references to your EndNote library, refer to any of our EndNote 24 Mac videos covering various databases. In this example, I entered a line of text that requires an in-text citation. So first I will place the cursor where I want the in-text citation to be placed. And then at the top left of my Microsoft Word window, under the EndNote 20 tab, it says insert citation. So I'll click on that. And a new window will pop up. In that window is a search feature that will search your EndNote library for any keywords, author names, or years uh, listed and provided in the various references. So in this case, I'm going with Kular. And whenever you enter a search, you can click on the reference provided and scroll down below just to make sure all the information matches what you're interested in. And if you are satisfied with the information you're seeing, you can click insert on the bottom right. And it will place the in-text citation where the, cur where the cursor was last left. So here we can see we have the cooler article in text, and then we have a matching bibliography generated. Now, it is good practice to put some space between the body of your text and the automatically generated bibliography, just to prevent any issues with continuing your text after the bibliography, which can happen. And as I mentioned earlier, by default, it will start you off in the annotated citation style. You can change that. So in my case, I'll be changing that to APA 7. And both the in-text citation and the bibliography will update to that new format. Now, my current example, I have the in-text citation written narratively, whereas the citation in APA is done parenthetically. I can update this just to eliminate the redundancy of having the author's name provided twice. And to do so, click on the in-text citation right click if you're using a mouse or two finger tap if you're using a trackpad. The bottom of that pop-up window, go to edit citations, and you'll see a list of options in terms of in-text citation formatting. So I can exclude the author, the year, or any subset. In this case, I'll be excluding the author because I've already provided that information. And there we go. There is a second method for placing citations in from EndNote into Microsoft Word. And to do that, place your cursor, again, where you would like to place the in-text citation. Switch to your EndNote window, but please make sure that both Microsoft Word and EndNote are neither minimized or full screen, as both commands will override the citation function. And once in EndNote, you can select whatever references you would like to cite. So in this case, I want to cite Franz. 
And if I want to cite multiple references in one, in one go, I can hold the command key and click on any additional references. So I'll do that with Salzer and Nadim. And then on the top right in my EndNote application window, I'll click on the quotation marks where it says insert citation. And it will place the in-text citations where my cursor was last placed. So we can see Franz, Nadim, and Salzer. And when I scroll further down, the bibliography was updated in alphabetical order by author's last name, as is the case in APA 7. Currently, the bibliography is not 100% correct in APA 7's format. And to adjust that, I can do so within Microsoft Word. Under the EndNote 20 tab, under the center column where it's, you see style, you'll see configure bibliography. Click on that and a new window will pop up. Go to the layout tab. And from here, you can change the relevant font in the font styles for the bibliography. The most common changes are with font size and font style, and then line spacing. In my case, I have to change the line space to double since that is the requirement in APA 7. So now when I click OK, my bibliography has updated so that it is double spaced. If you try to change the font using Microsoft's font tool under home, it will revert every single time you make a change. So please be sure to make changes to the bibliography using configure bibliography under EndNote 20.